I'm Alex from Mike's Dive Store, and today I'm looking at Fourth Element's brand new range of diving gloves. Starting off by looking at the three mils, I've actually got a pair of the old version here as well, so we can compare and contrast. The main difference is that Fourth Element have removed a lot of the patterning that was on the back of the old style glove. And what that's done is just increase the amount of flexibility. You don't really need the patterning on the back there. So a little bit easier to get on, a little bit more flexible under the water. What they've kept is the liquid seams that kind of go all the way over. And they also just help to keep the glove a lot more watertight as well. One addition on the three mil is that you've now got a cuff that the user can trim and all they've done is just put a little bit of extra stitching points there on the cuff so that it won't um, come apart. Putting them on is pretty straightforward. And once it's on, I can honestly say that, that is a very flexible uh, glove, really nice and easy to put on as well. If we take a look at the uh, five mils now, very similar. Again, they've removed that from the back of the glove, keeping the patterning on the front. But the main difference with the five mil is that they have what they call the hydro lock system, which is this cuff here. And that just really does minimize the amount of water that goes in. So again, just popping them on. Takes a little bit more work with the five mil compared to the three mil, but that's pretty standard. And once it's on, you can see how the hydro lock bit really does cover the wrist. And that again is meant to minimize any water going in and keeps the, dry, the glove almost dry. And that combined again with these seams means the glove will stay nice and, uh, uh, and warm for you in the water. The new gloves are also available in a Kevlar version uh, and there's also a 7mm mitt coming too. Um, but yeah, a brilliant little update to a really fantastic product uh, and well recommended. Thank you.